I think the problem is you're not drinking enough iced coffee. What's wrong with Nickelback? Let me explain something. I used to be a musician. That's what I did before I did all the computer stuff. And uh, with playing music out, they'd want you to, you know, there was a lot of free work and you got to do this for exposure. Everything was exposure in music. Playing out, play out for exposure. Look, at a certain point, exposure doesn't do anything. It doesn't pay the bills, it, you know. Eventually, I would think, look, if you want so much exposure, just go walk down the street with no clothes on. Don't actually go do that. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com, and today we're going to keep taking a look at our Hyper-V uh, automated whatever solution we call it. We're going to show you how to set up that baseline disk so you can keep cloning VMs and have them ready for autopilot. I mentioned Nickelback? No, nah, that ain't me. Okay, so yesterday we took a look at creating the createVM.ps1. I think I called it Create Hyper-V in the GitHub, but either way, the link's up there. Um, so hopefully you have this, and, and this is what we'll use once we uh, have our template. So we can just run this and create VM. But what we're going to do is we have to create that disk, right? So as I showed you, I have a folder on the D drive called Templates. So I recommend you make templates, and I already have these images in them um let's talk about what they are how we get them there let's make a brand new one together because i don't have 23h2 so we're going to do this um kind of in real time so what we have to do is we have to start by making uh the vm i downloaded my uh 23h2 iso here so we're going to go do that so we're going to make a new virtual machine so we're going to go through the wizard for this this is the only time you should have to do this we're going to call this gm for gold master W11 for Windows 11 and 23H2. Okay, and you see it picked up our default location. So I'm gonna hit next. It's gonna be a Gen 2 machine. Um, here I'm just going to keep all my defaults, no dynamic memory. It really doesn't matter because we're just making the disk. Um, default switch. Uh, okay, so we're gonna leave this at a, we're gonna change that to 60 gigs max. We don't want it to go bigger than that. It's going to put the hard disk here and um, we're going to hit next install operating system from the bootable image file. Uh, we should be on our desktop next finish. All right. So that's all you have to do. If you've never created a Hyper-V machine before, there's a million guides online, um, but now we have it and we can start it up and we can connect to it. Um, okay, so this is the thing with Hyper-V. Let me turn it off. You actually have to uh, hit a space to boot from the CD or DVD. Uh, you could change that in the settings, but let me just try that again. So we're going to turn it off, and I'm going to try this again. I'm going to hit start, and inside here, I'm just going to hit my space bar, and I think that got it. Okay, a little annoying here. Um, we're just going to hit next, install now. This is a pretty straight Windows 11 installation. Nothing exciting about it. We want Windows 11 Pro. Uh, this PC can't run Windows 11. Okay. So what happened here is we didn't turn the... Uh, yeah, we want to quit. Let's turn this off. So um, we need to enable the TPM since that is a Windows 11 requirement. So let's go back here. So I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go to Action. Uh, where are we here? Sorry, uh, file settings. And we're going to go to security and we want to enable the trusted platform mod, uh, module. Okay. And that'll allow us to install windows 11. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to hit the space bar again. All right. Now when we go through it, it should let us install. And that's another reason, um, I'm not going to edit that. I'm going to leave that in. That's a common mistake. So I think it's important to show that. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we're good. Except we want a custom install and there's our 60 gig disc and now it's just going to install. So that's a nice thing about Hyper-V that I like. You can make that fake TPM, that virtual TPM. I shouldn't say fake. It's a virtual TPM. You can make that and then you're, you're good to go. Um, for for testing things like BitLocker encryption, um, you know, startup keys, uh, escrowing that to Azure. So it's it's good in general for for testing VMs within Tune. All right, so we'll let this install. All right, so the machine 
uh, Windows finally installed and it's been rebooting. I've been sitting here for a while, which just goes to show you how long it takes to build a VM sometimes, which is why we're automating this to begin with. So cut that part out for you. But yeah, we just let it finish installing. Okay, so ultimately, this is where we want the device to stay every time we, we build it. But we got to do some stuff first. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is uh, our Shift F10 to pull up the command prompt. And we're going to go to PowerShell. And we're going to set the execution policy. This will help you a lot um, going forward. We're going to set that to bypass and force for testing. Okay. Now we want to do a few things. First thing we want to do is install the NuGet package provider. Package provider. Name NuGet. Confirm. False. Force. So that should install NuGet. Great. Now we want to install module Windows Autopilot Intune. Force. And then there's two scripts we have to install. Um, I, you can probably script all this setup, but the whole point of making this image is we only do it once in a while. So you don't really have to do this a lot. So, you know, if you think you're going to build these all the time, but the script is going to build this for us. So the idea of us creating these images, um, this is not something we're going to be, we're going to be doing a lot. Okay. So once that installs, um, you want to install, uh, we can import it, right? Import module windows autopilot in tune, um, import module windows autopilot in tune. Okay. We can install the script, get windows autopilot info force. That's so we can put the devices in autopilot very quickly. Uh, apparently I typed the letter F by accident. Whatever, that's fine. And then we're going to install the script get autopilot diagnostics. So we'll have that to troubleshoot if something goes wrong. I spelled force wrong. You got to spell correctly as always when you're scripting. Um, okay, the next thing I want to do is um, I want to add a local admin for myself so I always regardless of what I'm testing I always have a way back into the machine so basically I'm going to do this password equals read host as secure string type that password uh, new local user call it local admin password is password Full name is local admin. Um, and then we'll do a password never expires as true. Okay, and then we're just going to add that local admin to uh, the admin group. So the group is administrators and the member is local admin. Okay, finally, we want to go ahead and open the Explorer. Um, I like to have some files on all my machines. Uh, I don't know why it's half dark mode. That's a little weird. Um, so I have a network drive I'm going to head over to. Um, uh, let's go to the go back one I think the stuff's in here so I have a whole bunch of stuff um, one of them is uh, PS tools so I really like having PS tools on the local machine um, I use that quite a bit to test things you know we do with apps and stuff like that um, so that's there um, the other thing you can do for migrations um, if you're if you want to have user data I tend to have this, I have a dummy data folder we can bring over. Yep. Uh, files. 
Yeah, so dummy data will give us some stuff we could just dump into our directory. Um, and anything else you feel you might need. Apps I'm not too worried about. I want to leave this as clean as possible. But this is essentially the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and leave that there now. So I have those things there um, on C. So what I want to do now is I want to go to sysprep, sysprep exe. Because um, the machine is just the way I want it. So I want to enter out of the box experience, generalize, and I want to shut down. So let's hit OK. This is basically going to take everything we do and and leave it in the image, um, but then go to that clean out of box state. If you're familiar with just sysprep in general, which most of you are, that's all we're doing here. It's just a, a simple sysprep. All right. So once the sysprep is done, the device will shut down and it'll be turned off and we'll close that. Now, notice the machine did some automatic checkpoints. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and delete that. Delete the checkpoint. Delete. Yes. OK. So now all we should have left is the VM and we're going to go ahead, right click and hit export. So where do we want to save it for now? Um, I'm just going to put it. I'm going to make a folder called export VM because I don't remember exactly how it exports. So let's leave it there. Let's let it export. And then when we're done, we're just going to kind of dig through everything it spits out because we only want the disk, right? We only want the actual VHDX that we could take and, and pull that over. You could shrink these down to see the exporting status so you're not just watching paint dry, even though you are just watching paint dry. Okay, that took a very long time. Um, we'll see how much I leave in. Like, I've been legit sitting here for for a while. I don't know, 30 minutes, more, whatever. Anyway, uh, once the export is done, and this is why we're automating this. Once the export is done, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, let's go check on it here. So we'll go to where we put it. We put it in this export VM folder, and of course it made its own folder. Um, but this is what we want. See the virtual hard disks. We just want that disk. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in our templates. And then we can, we can kill the rest of the stuff. We don't need anything. Um, after that, that's all we wanted. So I can even go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and delete this VM. We don't need that anymore. Uh, one, 10, 22, where is our, yep. So now we have our win 11 23 h2 all right so now we were able to make our image and put it where it's supposed to go and next up we're going to finish it off by running the script show you how it all comes together and how you can use that to get your machine in autopilot uh, let me know if you're using this if you have similar methods if questions about it hop in the discord and we'll uh we'll keep chatting there later five four three